It is 12.05. I was giving us a little extra time, so we'll go ahead and call this meeting to order. And we'll start off with the introduction of our guests, if you will. Joe Armstrong. Mr. Armstrong, thank you for being with us. Uh, and of course, we always appreciate the media being here. <coughs> Uh, if you've had a chance to look over the agenda, we'll call for approval of the agenda. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Do you need a motion or something? Well, motion to approve the agenda. Yeah. Make a motion to approve. So. I'll second. second it. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. And of course, uh, are we still looking over the uh, minutes? from the August 2nd, 2016 meeting. Which, just a couple, from the email I sent out, uh, Jane had a couple corrections. Just a D got left off of Rand Paul's yeah. name. And so then um, I just added clarification, local television interview instead of just interview. For, um, Mike, so. But those were the only two. Uh, that was in a report from the chair. Um, the second paragraph okay. sentence just okay. Local television interview instead of interview. Thank you. Yep. All in favor of uh, the yeah. approval of the amendments as corrected. Any opposed? And we are there. Our treasurer's report. Okay, we received a check for. $3,000 in the city of Bardstown in our P.O. box. I got this email from Mr. Johnson. And it was deposited, and so um, our balance now is um, $7,972.62. Sorry, can you say that one more time? $7,972.62. Okay, and as <clears throat> For me, I'll keep this short and sweet. I had a chance to go to the Buttermilk Festival uh, one of the days it was going on. And I think next year, because that is such a good, you know, strictly local event, that I, I wish that I'd had a little forethought to have recommended that, that we uh, make an appearance there or have a presence there. Uh, and I'd just like to say next year, if you will help me keep that in the back of my mind, rolling around with the rest, it's something that, that I would very, very, very much like to do. Um, I had a chance to talk to several people. I enjoyed it before the cloudburst came. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> We had voter registration cards to give out yes. one year. We just it's been about two years since we've done it. I remember that. And, and like this I said, set up a table for blood registration. Yeah. And you know, I saw that there was, you know, it, it would be an excellent opportunity for us once again to to be out in the public and, and make an appearance. Uh, that's actually all that I have. So. Do you want to uh, approve the treasurer's report? Oh. oh yes, Do we need a motion on that? I move we approve it. And second, I'll say all in favor? Aye. Opposed? And so we are approved on that. You've got me. We'll go to committee reports. Complaint committee? No reports. Nothing. No, no complaints. Okay. Uh, the Civil Rights Act Commemoration Committee. Well, the, the Civil Rights Act Commemoration Committee. Uh, charged me with, with going through the Kentucky standards and uh, and finding out uh, articles that related to the adoption of the ordinance. And I was surprised there was not any controversy that the standard recorded. And part of the reason might have been there weren't any open meetings act at the time, so I suppose they did it in closed, in, everything in closed session. There was no controversy. I only really found four articles that dealt with the Civil Rights Commission. One of them was on Dr. Krauss, uh, he was executive at Barton's, being named to the State Civil Rights Commission. And also State Representative uh, Bernie Keene had, an, uh, had uh, his report, like State Representatives do, 
in which he said he was going to vote for it and expected it to pass. And then there was uh, another article on the bill going into effect July 1st. And then in regards to the local one, uh, the one I found had to do with, uh, with, the, with the appointments. It was, it was Lark Dundell. This was, this was who was going to be serving on the committee. And if you'll bear with me, I do want to share with you who the appointees are because it'll stir up a lot of memories that made me feel so proud because I, I know some of these people and I'm thinking, I'm serving on the same committee those big people served on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I think we all could be proud. Anyway, uh, the city appointees were E.E. E. Hubbard, attorney, the Reverend uh, Smiley Collins, and the Reverend Lawrence Kiefer, who were ministers, Carl Anderson, remember him, he was representing labor, and Mrs. Martha Lewis. Oh, yes, this teacher. And the county appointees were done by magisterial districts. And the Reverend uh, J.K. Williams from New Haven, Cornelius Hickman, Bardstown, he was a postal employee, John Crow, a teacher. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he taught with me. Miss Stafford McKenna, a businesswoman from Fairfield, and Dr. E. D. Horde, a dentist from Bloomfield. Now, there was controversy in the standard, and, and, uh, and one of the things, this is a quote from the September, I think it's 8th, 1966. The unmistakable increase in violence and antisocial behavior and disrespect for authority and morality in this country is revolting to the extent that it is cause for alarm. Alarm. <laughs> alarm. Alarm. And, and what year was that? 66. 66. <laughs> Oh, Terrorism <laughs> 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 Anyway, I thought I would share that with you. So uh, the uh, the that's I think that uh, I still think that we need to see if the standard, maybe the Gazette, will uh, will run some of these articles. But we may need to go not just 66. We may need to to uh, uh, Michael Johnson pointed out to me a wonderful article that. Uh, uh, Tim Ballard wrote that was in the centennial book of the standard on the when the schools desegregated uh, and uh, so we, I may need to go a little further afield than just relying on 66. I really thought there'd be some some letters to the editor and that kind of thing but they were on things like Medicare there was opposition to Medicare uh, uh, and uh, and uh, the rural electrification there was opposition to rural electricity yeah. No, but the civil <laughs> rights ordinance just slid right on. <laughs> so, surprise me. I was surprised. Sometimes you get surprised when you go to your primary sources, oh, which absolutely. which they always tell historians to do. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, also, as uh, I want to, uh, this really kind of came out of the other committee, which is next, because and and the civil rights uh, act commemorative committee, in that. Uh, uh, we want to get more involvement for that uh, for the for the ceremony that we have in November, and so I have two motions to put before you. Uh, the the first one is that I'd like to move that uh, we put up to a hundred dollars to the Barstown Middle School Club that uh, received the award before, in order for them providing music for this year's annual recognition ceremony. And I want, and I, I, the music should be in keeping with the 50th anniversary of the passing of the Kentucky Civil Rights uh, Law and the 50th anniversary of Bardstown's Nelson County's passage of the Civil Rights Ordinance. You know, I'm thinking that's not part of the motion, but the, the, those protest songs like "We Shall Overcome" and "Free at Last, Free at Last" and some of the others. And anyway, that's my motion. I hope it gets a second. So, what club is that? Uh, it's Kelly Harrison's the club. It's the club that got the yeah. award. Yeah. What was it? Tiger? Is it uh, the Tiger hand. Council? And no, because they, they are involved, involved. Yeah. that's yeah. why yes. I was. Gotcha. That's yeah. that's why. I, uh, that yeah. that's. I'll second that motion. Do you want to stay? It would probably be best yeah. if we have the the official name. Did you have that, Miss Terry? Oh, to the the name of the club or. Although yeah, it is I do, and I was looking at my words. She has cards. Uh, it's an empowerment. Uh, I bet I don't have it with me. Any other discussion? 
Have you have you talked to them already about doing music? I, 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 I said, uh, oh, good. Community views. Community. Community Youth Empowerment Project. Is that? That's, you know, that's, 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 if that's the name yeah. of the club that won, yeah. won the award for for its okay. civil oh. rights in 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 Bob. I don't know, but that. I asked him if uh, if I said it would it be feasible it could could uh, this club provide music and he he said yes you know mm -hmm. they could do it if um, those are the all of his guys you know mm -hmm. and we're uh, Black Arts Council as their sponsor back in the month. The name doesn't ring a bell to me as far as being that no, club. Uh, I thought it was. But, I, but, but yeah. you said it, it's it's evolved from, you know, he's had it for a long time, but he never been with a title or. But he has a website. Just yeah. he has a website. That's I think that title, you know, like has a, I know he's had at least one GoFundMe kind mm -hmm. of movement, maybe more, and that's a title that I recognize from mm -hmm. that. And I don't know if it's strictly under the auspices of the school anymore or not. Do you? Uh, he, well, the things that he does, he he doesn't have to go under the school. School. There is a club at the yeah. middle school. Yeah. Yes. It's. it's uh, and uh, you know, considering that this one is a community and does involve everybody, uh, what we can do is go ahead and name this. Uh, in in the minutes, and if it is different, then we can correct it. So, we'll go ahead with the emo uh, motion that we set aside one hundred dollars to have uh, choral representation from the Community Youth Empowerment Project uh, at the uh, November fifteenth uh, uh, Human Rights Anniversary Celebration and our commemoration and. Uh, essay contest if that's okay with you does that sound good <laughs> yeah. and, the, and the music is to be in keeping with the 50th anniversary yeah. yes perfect so we have a first from jane and a second from mary so oh. we're good for them. uh is, is there any further discussion in that case all in favor uh -huh. any opposed we are there. We will designate that amount of money to that project for uh, appropriate choral representation. And I would also like to move that up to $250, that would be the most, mm -hmm. that would be used to give a $50, uh, almost like a reimbursement, but like a thank you to any or all of the high school, high school art departments <coughs> Uh, Nelson County, uh, I mean, uh, they have to be the local high schools. Park 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 and and your in the parochial ones, Bethel and right. uh, Bluegrass uh, yes. Christian, mm -hmm. that provide for our recognition ceremony a visual art display or a piece of visual art that fits the 50th anniversary of the passage of the state and local civil rights laws. I, you know. I have a question about that. So, why are you do, you won't do it to county schools too? Oh, oh, oh. It's all. Oh, oh, that's why it's 250. Okay. I think okay. if they all do it, there'd be five. That's uh, fine. Okay, good. That's, that's, oh, yeah. uh, that's great. Bardstown, oh, uh, Thomas Nelson, <coughs> Nelson County, uh, Bethlehem, and uh, I yes. think Blue Bears Christian. That'd be great. Yeah. If if their art departments oh. would they choose to participate, they choose to participate. Okay. We might want to put some kind of parameters on that if this passes as far as like. Uh, you know, matted frame, you know, presentation. Oh, you know, but I think that's a detail. That's a detail we can. Uh -huh. so and, and I can provide uh, easels for us to display it down there if we need to. We, we need to. Oh, good. Because I have, you know, I have I think that's, that, that is an excellent addition <laughs> to this because so many times, you know, we, we in the past have asked for an essay. And, and there are so many children that writing it is hard for them, but you know, to, to express themselves via, you know, the arts is, is so much easier. And I think, you know, we could get 
I would like to see representation, a, a large representation from each of the schools. And uh, Good, it always can, seems so private. You know, I never. It felt stuffy to me. In the past, you know, we had the people there, the children, their families came. And we had right. fed them, but it was something like private. You know, these kids did this, and they, you know, nobody. Right. Although they, everybody was invited, but still, right. with more, more people involved, you get a. And, and we're hoping that the media <laughs> <laughs> will provide uh, a spread <laughs> on, on on this commemoration and what we're doing with it. Uh, you know, on, on the anniversary of, and therefore our commemoration of. <clears throat> so. <laughs> I'll go ahead and second uh, the motion for $50 for any Nelson County High School art department. <clears throat> so that's um, helps provide artwork for the November 15th. Event. I wanted to say this too because they, the art committee is kind of the we, we had a discussion in the SA committee about you know trying to expand the means of expression and pretty much I think came to the conclusion that it was impossible to compare apples to oranges to set writing up against visual arts, up against exactly. music. And so I think that Jane's come up with a really nice solution to that. It was after we discussed it in, yeah. at the essay conference. <laughs> I mean, we had our meeting after mm -hmm. the meeting. Yeah, yeah. that meeting yeah. after the meeting too. Yeah. You know, that, that, and art departments in the school systems struggle for any kind of funding that they can get. It's been a tremendous burden for those departments. So, any little thing that they can do to to you know add to the funding of their departments, I think we're going to get a good representation out of this. So, any further discussion? Okay. In that case, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? And we are there. Up to two hundred and fifty dollars for the high schools to uh, provide art work, visual art work, for uh, the commemoration celebration. Okay, anything else from the civil rights, from the committee? Okay, uh, SA committee. I'll let you. <laughs> okay. I can talk about the we met part of advertising. Uh, and uh, yeah. and uh, Mary has a copy of the of the uh, of the prompt and, uh, and this is what went that to the school. Like we needed to get it out. Mm -hmm. And we did uh, we have contacts with most of the schools. Somebody we can come back to and say, you know, uh, I think that always helps when we have a contest of this nature. Exactly. Uh, and uh, so mm -hmm. the uh, the the theme or the is to well it's you've got it there I'll take you can read it <laughs> I think it explains itself maybe you want to read it out oh. since the the Bars oh that's right the Barstown Nelson County Human Rights Commission is sponsoring the annual writing contest for the youth of our community. Any student in grades from 6 to 12 may enter. This is the 50th anniversary of Kentucky being the first southern state to pass a civil rights law and of Bardstown Nelson County leading the state in passing a civil rights ordinance. Consider what it would have been like growing up in Nelson County before segregation was declared illegal. Picture the feelings people probably had as they witnessed major changes to the way things had always been. Take advantage of people who experienced the civil rights movement firsthand and ask them questions. Look around and see if equality and comfort with diversity now exists. Consider our community before the Kentucky Civil Rights Act of 1966 existed to prevent discrimination. Contrast the way life was or is. Explore this topic and 
create a text of 500 words or less explaining the differences and opportunity for all individuals planning and creating a future in 1966 and in 2016. The rules, 500 words or less typed, include name, age, school grade, parent guardian's name, and contact information. Prizes will be awarded for both 6 through 8 and 9 through 12. First prize in each category is $100, second prize $75, third $50. Winners will be awarded prizes at the Commission's annual awards ceremony to be held November 15th at the Bardstown Civic Center. All entries must be received by October 21st, 2016. Email Nelson County Human Rights at gmail.com or send to Bardstown Nelson County Human Rights Commission, Post Office Box 211, Bardstown, Kentucky 4004. Um, part of what we had talked about in promoting the prompt. Um, both Mary and Jane have taken it to the schools, done that. Uh, previous years, we've also run that in the Kentucky Standard. Um, plan on doing that again, um, but without an additional way to get the word out would be um, Facebook, um, as you can select parameters of um, the group of people that you're trying to reach, um, limit it here to within Nelson County, um, and try to get you know the the students or the parents or teachers and um, try to do that so that leads to one of our items under new business exactly. of a Facebook page which would be needed in order to run ads on Facebook um, so we can talk about that more later some of the details of the Facebook page and policy um, for that but as far as the potential a potential ad would go see that's what I'm thinking. just to give you an idea of the effectiveness or potential effectiveness um, for reaching all the zip codes within Nelson County and of those people those that have liked uh, one of the high schools um, here in Nelson County or those who Facebook identifies as are probably moms of high school students, right? Um, or those that have job titles of high school or middle school teacher. Um, based on that description, there's 8,500 people in Nelson County that you know match that description. And for a total budget of $200 on Facebook, um, you could reach well, running from September 7th to October 19th, you could reach um, 490 to 1,300 of those people a day. Um, and so I think that would be a cost-efficient way of reaching people. So that's why we wanted to mention that as an option. Perfect. And since we've not established uh, the Facebook page as mm -hmm. of yet, uh, we will probably amend uh, the, uh, the motion for the Facebook page to be inclusive of. And yeah, so we can deal with that motion with the exactly. Facebook page later. Um, also, an idea because I did want to provide some samples to understand what was going on. Um, a couple samples of like Facebook ad that could be done. Um, I'll give these two to you and then I don't, let's see. I'll have we'll those, if you could pass those around, I guess if you see those. But those are two examples. There would be images that would show up on Facebook and then somebody could click on them um, to a link that would then pull up this prompt that you were just shown um, to find out all the details of it. Mm -hmm. anybody that's familiar with Facebook those those ads are becoming very popular <laughs> yeah, and so for $200 you get a lot of representation yeah. so obviously there's a picture of Main Street and then the other picture um, is Martin Luther King and uh, Jackie Robinson and 
I forget the other man's name. Uh, meeting, yeah, with the okay. yeah. meeting with the Kentucky governor. Okay. Meeting with the Kentucky governor that passed the Kentucky uh, Civil Rights Act. So. We also talked about under publicity too, hoping to get some mm -hmm. yes. expenditures with the contact Nelson County Gazette as well and talk with them. Right. And see some other options. So. And one of the things with the Facebook ad too, people can easily share it. Um, if the local papers would share it on their Facebook pages or PLG or you know, or help spread the word as well. Any further discussion with uh, the essay committee? Any anything else? Okay, if not, we will go right on. Well, in. sorry, one thing. Uh, Kelly Harrison and Maria Clemens um, oh, said they were unable at this time to be serving on the essay committee. So just right. so you're aware. Yeah. Okay, um, we'll go on to old business bylaws. We had them here. Uh, we uh, approved them last time. And of course we had to wait the 30 days for final approval. So I will ask for a motion. Mm -hmm. And a second. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? And our bylaws are now official. And again, thank you. Because you all that was a, it was a, it was a task. <laughs> yes, it was. Uh, very, very, very quickly. Uh, and thank you, Mary Jane, for bringing this up. Um, in in uh, Article 6, our standing committees, uh, of course, uh, the executive committee is myself, Michael Johnson, Kelly Harrison, and Paula Pace at this time. In <laughs> uh, the budget committee, uh, that is, of course, Paula, uh, Michael, and myself. Uh, the complaint committee is Paula, and we have no other person there at this time. Uh, and of course, with this being Paula's last meeting, uh, we may have to uh, we may have to appoint Waylay blindside a new a new commissioner. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, but anybody interested in taking that position or being a member of that committee, uh, we, will, we will bring that up at, at the next meeting. Um, our annual recognition committee, of course, is uh, Michael, uh, Ms. Mary Spaulding, Michael Johnson, Ms. Mary Spaulding, and Mary Jane Greenville. Um, at this point, we do not have a publicity committee. Uh, but, you know, the, basically the other committees, the, uh, the uh, ad hoc committees are, and the, uh, recognition committee have pretty much taken on the responsibility as secondary to in incorporating that with, uh, Theirs, but we probably uh, we probably with in, in our effort to get the word out uh, need to establish a publicity committee standing and then we also do not have a standing legislative committee which with everything that is going on even though we have a short session coming up in Kentucky uh, a legislative committee would involve taking um, keeping an eye on what's going on in the legislature uh, pertaining to human and civil rights and uh, presenting to uh, the commission from that. Uh, that would, would also give us the opportunity to, if something were to pass at the state or the federal level, to uh, bring it to, to see if uh, the city and the county to see if they uh, wanted to include it in uh, the particular joint ordinance. So, there is another uh, committee that, that we will, and I would appreciate anybody, you know, you can let me know. Uh, I, I would be 
anybody that would like to volunteer, uh, anybody that's not here that would like to volunteer, please pass the word on to them. Uh, and we will try to establish those two committees ASAP. So um, I think I got everybody named and uh, we are there at where we need to be. And like I said, anybody interested, uh, please let me know and uh, we will go from there. Is the, uh, the uh, committee required to uh, ordinance with that fall into the legislative committee? Uh, or is we, it, an ad hoc it, it would be ad hoc because it's just to revise that ordinance right now. And once it is, the revisions have been made, and there it is a very, 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 yeah. Uh, once those revisions were made then, but I can see those two committees working simultaneously together and, and you know, being involved. I think, you know, that would be an excellent, the way that the uh, commemoration committee and the essay committee are working uh, a, as a very cohesive group. I, I think excellent point that those two committees would, would very much be working together as well. So. Right. I think at some point if we wanted, we could treat them as combined uh, exactly. within here. I mean, you just talked about reporting on the work of lawmaking bodies and bringing recommendations to the full commission. So mm -hmm. I th you, you could join them if it you want, if that makes it Definitely. I, th I think it would be. And uh, uh, if anybody would like to, you know, bring that as a, you know, bring it to the next meeting, think it over and, uh, you know, let me know and, and we'll just proceed there as we need to. And like I said, this this committee is not, or this, this commission is not, uh, does not function well unless we work well together. And uh, uh, when, when I took the, the chair's position, I said, you know, that that's fine, but you know, I it, it will be all of us working for a common goal and that's, and I do appreciate it. I, I mentioned it earlier, kind of off the table. And I thought, oh, I better wait till the meeting. How much I do appreciate when I'm putting these agendas together, uh, you know, and, and I try to get them out as early as possible. So, and, and several people will, will, you know, email me back, well, what about this? What about that? Uh, question this, question that. And I just want to say how much I appreciate it because, you know, I, I never profess to be all-knowing, all-seeing. <laughs> and, and like I said, when we work together as a collective, uh, we are so much more effective. So, you know, that, that's, and I'd just like to say how much I, I do appreciate it and thank everyone that has uh, made recommendations to uh, that agenda especially. Bylaws are now official. Uh, open records policy is there and it's done. And Which we adopted that, that. We adopted that last time, and I accidentally left that on there. So, so if you will please overlook no. that. Uh, my apologies. And it just needs to be. Uh, I didn't get you sent the final copy of the changes made till just I don't know. Few last right. few days, whatever this past week. So we have we um, but adopted it, that needs corrected to be posted. it. If you can post that to the library, city hall, I, county. I can, and that is the one that you sent me. So yes. we will definitely do that. Let me put that on there, and I'm glad that's on there <laughs> <laughs> so that I can post. Um, the Human Rights Commission Joint Ordinance. On the records organization. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, there's probably a few things that still need to be added to the binders, but I do have the binders here. Um, if y'all just want to grab them on the way out, or I can pass them out now. <laughs> I'm Mark Duke. Oh but that's not, there's, yes. there's a lot of room for expansion in there. Um, it was tabs. I was going to put a table of contents and I did not do that. Um, well, <laughs> you could tell the bureaucrats in the group. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, you can grab these on the way out, I guess. Um, it has, well, here, let me go through what all is in it real quick. 
Yeah. Or I'm just, I'll just pass it. So you can look through it. Christmas in September? Yeah. <laughs> I'll look at her. That's okay. I'll look up. Robert's okay. rules <laughs> fall out. Yeah. So, yeah, there's a spark chart on Robert's rules. Um, then there is. <laughs> Maybe I ought to add a little amendment to the back of that, the massacre. Yeah. <laughs> then at the beginning is just um, a two page. Earlier on, I don't know when exactly it was typed up, but kind of a history of our local commission, um, which is helpful. Then a copy of the bylaws because I anticipated them being adopted today. They were, so they're good. Um, that's the adopted version. Um, then there's the city ordinance, the county ordinance, and then um, there's that your duty under the law um, that you're supposed to receive when we get on the commission. I don't know if everybody has, but the duty under law, just intro into the open records and open meetings. Uh, then there's the open records policy that we adopted and that request form. Then there's the managing government records, um, just a little bit more about the public records. I didn't include all the more detailed stuff because really that's just the secretary's job <laughs> to keep track of all that, but that gives you an intro into it. Um, then there's a packet called Guidelines for Local Commissions that the um, State Commission put out. This was published in 2009, so there may be some out-of-date information in there. Um, but it's good to have some ideas of activities local commissions can do, um, sample ordinances to establish a local commission, which obviously that's already been done here. But um, I thought there was some good information in there, some contact information for other human rights commissions um, here in the Commonwealth. And then there may be a tab in some of you about filing complaints. Ignore that if it is. I thought I took it out of everybody. Um, I do have some more detailed stuff about filing complaints, but we can just leave that for the people that are on the complaint uh, committee. And there is a little information about complaints in that guidelines for local commissions packet. Uh, then the financial procedures and forms, those are the financial procedures and forms that we adopted a few meetings ago. Um, then a copy of the most recent uh, fiscal report and proposed budget that we're operating under. And then at the end, um, the section of publications, and these are brochures. The first one is ours that we had created back a ways, and then the others are brochures that the state commission provides. Um, and I have some of those as a secretary, so if you request them for something, then you do have one that's uh, Spanish. Yes, they're. Yes, so I did not put it in here. I, I do have some copies of, of them that are in Spanish. Um, some of the state ones have like one side is English, the other side is Spanish. Um, and then of ours, that's, it's outdated. It has a list of members that haven't been here for quite a while, um, different things. That's why the publicity committee will be, probably be working on a new brochure at some point. Um, but I do have some oh, Spanish yeah. versions of those, but they are, it is very outdated. Um, but in the State Commission uh, brochures, there's one just introduction to the State Commission, there's one on employment, uh, and there's one on fair housing. And so if you want any more of those for an event you're going to or anything like that, I can provide those to you as well. Michael, uh, kudos, just an oh, extreme yeah. amount of work Thank right you. here, and, and uh, <laughs> you know, a wealth of opportunity. Uh, <laughs> we can't begin to thank you enough for thinking of this, providing this to us. Uh, once again, I think, and I think our governing bodies. Uh, the city and county uh, should be, especially the city, <laughs> should be very, very, very pleased with this, especially with all that you have included uh, in there that uh, a lot of the commissioners knew absolutely nothing about. Uh, a 
commissioners that have even been on for a while knew absolutely nothing about myself included. There were a few things, you know, there were several things that, that I did not know that the commission was responsible for that was uh, brought to our attention when Barbie spoke with us. So thank you thank again. You. All right. You're welcome. <coughs> I had been authorized to spend up to $300 on that. Um, the cost of what I actually spent did go a little over that. Um, if I do have a reimbursement request, the total I spent was $321.18. So I'm, I can eat the cost if I need to, but. I'll make the motion that the cost is shown With approval, but I think it's worth it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, and, 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 and going forward. From now on, when we when we do something like that, we'll we'll call it approximately. Mm -hmm. and therefore, we can allow for a little wiggle room uh, uh, in that. But all uh, the, the motions made to uh, reimburse Michael for the full amount. Have I got a second? Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Michael, you are reimbursed. You don't have to eat twenty one eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the Human Rights Commission Joint Ordinance, once again, with everything that we have going on, although uh, our revision recommendations to that ordinance are very important, I think it is something at this point, especially with uh, Paula uh, being replaced at this point, uh, not, or wishing not to continue with, with the commission. Uh, and, and Paula, are there any others that their commission is up this month as well? No, I think mine is because I was a replacement for somebody who had been removed. Okay, okay. But um, we'll, uh, we will once again, unless there there is any objection to that, we will table that and keep that going. And I will, you know, uh, records, Michael, when, uh, we meet again if there's anything that needs to be added to uh, we, we can uh, we can do that via the secretary's position they can if you have something that that you want Michael, uh, want to uh, add to it as well just, just contact Michael and say hey you know what do you think and you you guys discuss that and, and we'll just go from there um, and uh, I think that's probably the best way and of course you have you have enough space in there that if there are things that you you know want to include for yourself you can but remember that you know if you decide to leave and pass this on to another commissioner it would probably be, be best something that it would be brought to the whole commission um, and, I, and I'll ask now do you want me to keep uh, the records on as a ongoing uh, old business item if there's anything to be added to if so there will be need, need to be a motion made to to keep uh, uh, that ongoing we can do that or add a secretary's report or something and deal with it in that in that, that you know Michael so that, that I think that's excellent because mm -hmm. you know I, I was suggesting that you relay it to Michael but we can do it in secretary's report if you'd like to bring that and add it to the secretary's report at that time I think that that's perfect rather than have another obligation there so uh, we've tabled the joint ordinance until after everything's over with the commemoration and winter's always a good time to, to work on those things and at this point uh, is there any other new business before I uh, Oh, yeah. okay, Mike. <laughs> like I said, the rest is rolling around in there. I've hit myself with a hammer one too many times. New business, that was old business, not my apologies. Uh, the Facebook page, and we have discussed the fact that uh, we do need, uh, we've talked about the fact that uh, advertising through Facebook uh, would be a, an excellent opportunity for us to get the word out but as you know there was some negativity associated with the last Facebook page and someone had exclusive control of that therefore I, I think and another reason for moving Facebook page to new business as opposed to a, 
uh, an item associated with strictly the promotion of the commemoration and the essay contest was that Facebook, the page itself would be something that would allow us once again to promote the commission, uh, let people know what's going on, uh, invite people to our meetings, so forth and so on. Uh, I do that personally on a regular basis, but there are people that, that, you know, their social media is, you know, I get up in the mornings and check, you know, my email, then I go check messages on social media. Uh, you know, that, that's just me, and I know a lot of other people do the same thing. So, um, I think it best to establish a Facebook page with, uh, and I think the establishment of the page can be done so uh, so that there is more than one uh, administrator of the page. Unfortunately, I think I think it's always going to come down to there's one person that would have the ability if they so choose to lock everybody else out. That's just. The nature of it, there has to be somebody that's labeled the administrator exactly. that controls the access of the other roles within it. I mean, and that would complicate things if, I mean, if that happens again, you know, that and if the that is an issue. You would need to establish the rules, whatever yes. is, is yeah. going through. And if, if somebody decides they're going to violate the rules and do whatever. I mean, there's there's no way to prevent that in and of itself. There's a way to, I guess, punish that and deal with that after the fact and to dissuade, but there's no way to physically make it impossible for it to happen. Mm -hmm. um, so would, you're saying is that there can't be like three people that would have the password or the way to change it? There can be people that there can be multiple people that have access to the Facebook page and can post as the Facebook page. Um, Facebook has different roles, like within, so there's an administrator, and only one person is the administrator, and they can control who has the other roles on the page. The other roles, editor would be the next role that has the most power, and it's basically all the same as administrator except that they can't add or remove other people to the roles to have access to the page. So there is going to be one person that has the ultimate, they could say, I don't want other people to have access right now, you know, and do that. Like I said, it's impossible to completely prevent that. So it'd be my recommendation if we go with the Facebook page, um, create which I think the benefits outweigh you know the potential I would say the make the administrator the chair of the commission so that way if I mean if it is somebody going rogue then it's the chair I mean, I mean you know what I'm saying that way. Yeah. And, and so the chair would have the ultimate responsibility for the Facebook page as the chair in a sense has ultimate responsibility for the commission as a whole. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I also, a few things I typed up, because I knew there were issues, there do need to be a few policy ideas. Let's pass those around. Um, and, that's, and these are just very basic policy thinking, but I think it could be a good starting point to allow us to get a page. Uh, on the back side is just kind of a basic, a basic policy as far as how to deal with comments that exactly. people make. Um, I just copied it exactly from um, another government organization, replaced uh, the names. But uh, the front, the chair or vice chair, if the chair is unable, shall be the admin of the commission's Facebook page. I list there what it gives the chair the ability to do. Um, that's just based on how Facebook works. And then I said the secretary and or chair of the publicity committee may be the editor of the commission's Facebook page. So that way they don't have the ultimate authority to lock people out or whatever, but mm -hmm. they can post to it. Um, and then I did add, well, I, I 
said what their abilities are that Facebook gives them, and then the editor or editors shall monitor the Facebook page and regularly moderate comments or posts to the commission's page in accordance with the social media public comment policy, uh, which is what I have on the back side. Um, and then I know the statement of date, time, and location for the commission meetings or events hosted by the commission are the only posts authorized without prior approval by the commission. I have prior approval in there twice for some reason. Um, but that way it's just the most basic information coming out unless specifically authorized by the entire commission. And that way it's easy to tell what is authorized, what's not. Mm -hmm. um, and then I put commission members, this is optional, but commission members who have Facebook accounts shall like the commission's Facebook page and shall immediately alert the commission to any posts that appear to be unauthorized. And that way, if we're all following the page and stuff, we're gonna pick up on it pretty quick if something wrong is happening. Um, and then I did add in there, unauthorized posts as the commission's page shall constitute malfeasance and be grounds for commission members to recommend that the appointing authority remove the commissioner under Article uh, 8 of the bylaws. Um, just to clarify that that does qualify as malfeasance, which would enable us to recommend exactly. removal. Exactly. Um, so, up for and discussion, those, additions, yeah, that's just some ideas of basic policy. Those that are liking and following the, the, the page, the members, make sure that uh, when you hit like, it, it'll, you'll have a default and then you'll have see first. And that way, if there is a post, post, then you'll see every single post that, that's made to that. Say that again. Uh, if you're on Facebook and you, we, when we uh, establish the page, mm -hmm. If the commissioner likes the page, yeah. uh, you know, you know, there's a little down arrow to the side of like, and you have see first or default. It automatically goes to default. If you will check see first, that way you see every post that's made to the Human Rights Commission page. Whenever you oh. get on Facebook, it'll be at the top of your yes. news feed instead oh, I see. of gotcha. Right. Potentially buried in other posts. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Okay. Well, we so. had talked about whether or not posts could be made uh, before anybody saw them. If you had some kind of mechanism whereby you actually um, approved them, this is instead of that. What? Or I mean, it's a little. Yeah, hard. I just. Yeah, we could still do every post uh, needs approval. You could I don't know uh, what design the post or whatever, save it as a draft, uh -huh. and then wait for. Publicity committee, executive committee, however we want to do that to exactly. approve it. Um, I, that'd be up to you. I just mm -hmm. went with this most, I figured date, time, and location for the meetings. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a very mm -hmm. basic, right. can't get into trouble with that. Mm -hmm. um, and then everything else has to be authorized. And, and there, there is a mechanism within Facebook. I don't administer a page right now other than you know the blog page that I'm doing you know it's not uh, but I do know there, there are two other service organizations that I belong to uh, if you post to that page particularly the one out of Louisville if you post to the page it has to go to their administrator for approval before it shows up on the page so there is a mechanism within and uh, you know if, if we go forward with this uh, I will uh, find out how that is done, and we can we can. And, that. You, and you do have the ability to schedule posts in advance, mm -hmm. um, so it could be instead of like the specific date, time, location, it could just be um, scheduling a post a week or a couple days before our regular meeting, right. and just have it say, "Don't forget we meet this yeah. Tuesday mm -hmm. at noon at the Nelson County Library," and just have that scheduled to be you know, the set date on the calendar and then that post would never have to be redesigned redone i mean you know you just uh, i think our best way to do this since we are in a bit of a time crunch and we're wanting to get this done would be to uh go ahead and establish a little bit of an ad hoc committee to, to uh put the page together um I, I, since I'm going to be obviously involved heavily on this, uh, you know, I will be sitting in 
uh, on that committee. Uh, Michael, I know you also are going to be involved. And uh, uh, is there anybody else that would like to meet with Michael and I as far as establishing the Facebook page? And this would probably be something that we could, you know, hammer out within the next week or so. I'm leaving for North Carolina <laughs> next week, so. Uh, uh, but we can we can get together and we can establish I mean, this it, one day. It's need, it's need be to be able to do ads for the essay contest or to provide more time to come up with a more robust policy. Whatever. I mean, we could just establish the page, and at this point, no posts are allowed or anything except for sign up those specific ads that. Right. The commission can authorize And you want that ad to start running in October? Well, we want to add it as, as possible. Yeah. yeah, so if we could get it going in there mid-September through, you know, that would give us two months. Uh, so uh, give me a day or two to contact to find out how that they do the, the editing. But we could go ahead and establish the page now and get the... Uh, uh, get the ad in that way we can start running it as soon as possible and then you know iron out the details a little later on if that's if and, that's okay and this committee or executive committee or something at some point work out what works best for funding the ads i mean like how do you provide a, a credit card number or debit card number and, then and the it bills as the ad runs and then have to get reimbursed or something yeah because yeah, the see. commission doesn't have a card Unless the commission wanted to try to get a card, but that's a different animal. I mean, you know, so exactly. It's, right? mm -hmm. it's, so, but we um, can figure out those details. That, that, that won't be a problem. I think we can handle that just fine. So, um, you need a motion that. that you actually, it's just an establishment of a committee, and we've done that. It'll be a very brief ad hoc uh, to get this done. We'll probably be through within. You know, and then we'll report out to, to the commission next meeting what we have accomplished and established and go from there. If we want to try to run the ad before the next meeting and stuff, do you want to go ahead and do motion and vote on establishing a Facebook page or you know, authorizing this committee to establish a Facebook page and to run these two ads or exactly. set that up? Uh, and, and you no, said the ads were $200, uh, is that a monthly charge? Well, we had talked about for the entire period of time. <coughs> okay. Uh, Till November. Till November, so. That's or, uh, October 21st is when that's oh, 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 so oh, we'll oh, do oh. that. Uh, we can right. do some additional ads later about promoting the event if we yeah. want. Yeah, right. Oh, so it's the 21st, yeah. so. um, Do I have a motion? So and second. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? And we are there. That way we have got all bases covered and we can go ahead and get that ad uh, going on social media. Now, <laughs> our only guest left us. I think we went a little long for him. Uh, uh, you know, this is normally where we have comments from guests, but seeing as how we don't have a guest, uh, our next meeting date will be Tuesday, October the 4th, 2016, here at the library. That is uh, Nelson County Public Library, 201 Cathedral Manor, Barge, Town, Kentucky. So, uh, if there is nothing else, uh, a motion to adjourn. Make a motion. So, Seconded. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? We are adjourned.